you a man and you tie your hair up in a bun? Why are you a man and you're tying your hair up in a bun? Because you want to? Because you feel like it? Is that a legit question? Okay, this pastor is so stupid, so next level idiotic, that I'm going to have to break down the rest of this absurd sermon clip by clip. So let's go. What next pearl of wisdom do you have for us? Men don't walk around with buns on their head. They do. You just, you, you, you just said they do. That's what you're yelling about, right? Oh, y'all don't believe. Well, no, because you're not saying anything. So what are we not believing? Because you can't tie it up unless it's too long. This guy's done a lot of studying of man buns, I'll tell you that much. Thou doth protest too much, anti-bun guy, huh? And the Bible says it's a shame for a man. You're jealous of these guys' hair? Maybe they grow more hair than you? Maybe you secretly are attracted to them? Maybe from behind you think they're a woman and you're like, Ooh, what's going on, baby? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I, my mistake. Men should not do this. You're creating temptation. You're cre not, te not tempting me, but you're, tempt you're creating temptation of others. I'm going to write a sermon about this. Let me go to my, my, my room and just write heavily. Now, y'all act like stuff that, that I don't say that. The Bible say it's a sh Look at somebody and say the Bible say Okay, uh, you do say it. The Bible doesn't say it. And just having your flock of sheep congregation repeat what you said, why don't you say the Bible say? Oh, because eight people in the background said the Bible say that makes it in the Bible? No, the Bible doesn't have an opinion on man buns, okay? And uh, if you've read the Bible, wasn't Moses in the desert for like 40 years with all the rest of the Israelites? You think they were stopping at Fantastic Sam's for haircuts a lot? I mean, they had huge beards and presumably also very long hair. I, I haven't seen the video on account of there is no video. And also on account of the Bible's not an actual story and it's more parables to teach values. And so the fact that you're going on and on about the Bible has an opinion about man buns is a little bit absurd. And maybe you should write sermons about stuff that actually matters to the world. Uh, just a suggestion, but go on. Now see, that's the problem. We're so easily offended. Oh, that's the problem. We're so easily offended by pastors that are trying to divide people when the whole point of religion, I thought, was supposed to be to bring people together to recognize that we're all God's children. So all of us are God's children except those with buns on top of their heads? Is that the argument that you're making? Seems like a logical problem to me, but continue, why not? The Bible says it's a shame for a man. No, it doesn't say that. They have long hair, and you can tie your hair up. You got your hair long enough as a man, you can tie it up, twist it, and put it in a bun. Yeah, that's how buns work. Now you're just explaining how to do a bun. You're literally doing the whole move, tie it up, twist it. You're just now explaining exactly how somebody should do a bun. Are you a hairstylist on the side? Are you trying to drum up business for your man bun business? You got a man bun shop on the corner if, if the, just in, as a side hustle in case the pastoring doesn't work because obviously it's not gonna. That ain't God. That ain't God. No, God wouldn't be anti-buns. Is that what you're saying? Or you're saying God does not approve of the man buns? Because again, Moses, big hair. And I don't know if you know this. This is a fact. It's in the Bible. It's hidden in there deep in the Bible. Uh, God had a man bun and still does. He sometimes takes it down for high holidays. But he has a man bun. It's the best way to keep his hair out of the eyes of earth. For his hairs would be very long because no one's going to cut God's hair. How could you? His God, his hair is made out of Rapunzel strength hair. And if it, it, would be, it would be so long, it would hit Earth right now and other planets and it would hit people in the eyes. And so God has to tie it up into a man bun. I'm surprised you didn't find that passage in Ezekiel. Shut the f up. You're making f and you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, colon 14. Yeah. Yeah. Pull the hair back over their ear. You was a damn. How many know? Men don't do stuff like that. Uh, men do stuff like that. That's the whole thing you're ranting about. So, yet again, religious leaders here are teaching that there's only one kind of masculinity, only one kind of way you should exist, and that apparently in this church you're not welcome if you're a man. If you even have different hair, let alone imagine if you have a different sexuality or you have a different interest in life that doesn't match with this pastor's own favorite vibe. If you don't have an, a, a tight ace fade all around like this guy, you're not welcome at Pastor Julie's Bible study. So just take note of that. What's that? Oh, uh, as you often notice, I'm talking to my producer off camera. My producer here uh, has an opinion about what this pastor is saying. What's your uh, thoughts on that, Anatoly? Ooh, an aggressive man bun head shake. So you see there, not 
not a fan. Now, please understand, pastors, because I think men should be allowed to have man buns doesn't mean I don't think it's a pretty ridiculous look for a man to do. I just think a man should be allowed to do it. I mean, we all can acknowledge a man bun's pretty ridiculous. I'm just playing. I, I think they're fan. I think they're fantastic. Are, are, are we cool again, buddy? Okay, awesome. Look in solidarity. There you go. There's very big man hair for you, okay? And the very long-haired Ben Glebe for Rebel HQ. I do these videos three times a week, and you can check out my new stand-up comedy special, The Mad King, on YouTube. Please leave comments, share it, spread it wide, and uh, make sure and don't do any of that until you get your hair cut nice and tight, because let's priorities, okay?